Hello, konnichiwa. This is Kei. Keeping your own trade rule is one of the endless challenges for all traders. And this video is for those who tend to break his own rule and get lost over time. Like the other day when the market spikes up and down, like the gold or USDJPY on the 13th of August, you know, they spiked more than 100 pips. And I was watching Facebook and Twitter afterwards, and I saw one of the traders lost like 10 million dollars by that. But if you set your own rule and keep the rule, then the loss should have been kept minimum in such a volatile situation. So how can you keep your own rule as a successful trader? That's something I will be talking about today. So let's get started. First, let me tell you the truth about trade rules. Basically, the rules are not for getting profit, but basically it's for limiting the loss. So keeping your own rule, be able to keep your own rule is a must-have skill and it's a minimum requirement to become a successful trader. So what should you do when you broke the rule? The answer is, you promise yourself what to do next. You know, you think breaking rule is not a good thing, but you just broke it? When it happens, think to yourself, how can you quit such bad habits in the future? And set another rule to prevent from it. Let me give you an example in forex trading. Let's say you have been looking at a chart from morning and based on your trade rules, there comes an entry timing, right? And let's say you place buy after three long hours sitting on a chair right in front of the monitors and you place stop loss based on your trade rule. So you feel like finally I'm in the market, right? And you hold a position for five minutes, 10 minutes, and after like 30 minutes, the price starts to go backwards. And when you look at the reality, in your mind, two thoughts are fighting. One is, okay, I will cut the loss here based on my trade rule. But the other mind is telling you, I will move the stop loss a little below so that it won't get loss cut yet. And after that, the price might go up, right? Then the price reaches to the stop loss and it's about to touch it. Then you decide to move it downwards or you just cancel the stop loss. And what can you do afterwards? You're making some loss already and you cancel the stop loss. After that, all you can do is just pray, right? Pray that the price will go up and hopefully you get profit eventually. Or another case might be, as soon as the price touches a stop loss and after you get loss, you just go ahead and place another buy or sell position to win back the loss. Now that's what I call gambling. And in fact, that's what I have been doing when I first started forex trading. But if you keep doing this, your capital will be decreased over time. That was just an example, but what I wanted to tell you is, first of all, if you place a stop loss or when the price comes to a point where you decide to cut loss, you have to execute it no matter what. And to be able to have that discipline, my suggestion is, and this is actually what I did, but for example, you find a piece of paper and write, I will cut the loss according to my own trade rule no matter what. You write it down on a piece of paper and place it in front of the monitor and read it every time before you open a chart. It worked very well for me, so you can try this. You know, the reason why traders don't want to cut loss is basically because they have a mindset that the position should be closed with a profit and losing money is basically painful. However, don't think one single trade owns your whole performance. Your performance should be checked and calculated over time. If you're using MT4, MT5, you can get your overall performance from the system or you can manually record your performance in Excel format or on a paper and do it for a month so that you don't be happy or be sad by just one single trade. So the point is, you need to keep thinking, what would I do when I break the trade rules? And once you decide what to do, you do it no matter what. Let me give you another example. What one of my friends does is, he said, when he breaks his own trade rules, he decided to do push-up 10 times according to the lost pips. So for example, if he loses 10 pips, he should do 100 times of push-up. 
you know, it might sound silly, but eventually he said it worked very well. He said he used to break his own trade rules and did push ups at first, but eventually he kept his own trade rules 100% because keeping the trade rules is much easier than doing push ups every time. And this is effective because in psychology there is a theory called prospect theory and it basically tells you all the humans don't like to have a pain. Psychologically, everyone tends to avoid the pain. So by setting another rule that you think it's painful to you, every time when you break the trade rules, you will be able to obtain a mentality to be able to keep the trade rules over time. Of course, each people have different aspects and I don't want you to go too extreme and eventually quit forex trading because of the pain, but it depends on your preference. So anyways, try setting another rule in case you break your own forex trade rules and see if you can keep them. The most important thing for a successful forex trader is discipline and self-control. If breaking rules becomes your habit, no matter how much capital you have, one single trade will blow up your account. For example, even if you have 10 million dollars, if you trade in a way that it becomes zero, even if the risk might be just 1%, it's not a trade, it's called gambling. Rules are rules, you know, and whether the rule is big or small, you need to keep it no matter what because if you cannot keep a small rule, you cannot keep a big rule anyways. And even if you get big profits in few trades by breaking the trade rules, you will get lost in the long run for sure. I may sound a little serious today, but I'm telling all this because it's really for you. Because I used to break my own trade rules many times at first and get lost over time. And I don't know how many times I thought I should quit forex trading. But for those who are watching my video, at least I don't want you to lose your precious money. So that's why I've been creating videos like this. So for those who are subscribing to my channel, and of course for those who are not subscribing, if there is one thing that you can take home and put into action, it will be my big pleasure. I'm here on Facebook, you know, or Instagram or WhatsApp. So let's work on it together. All right, thank you for watching my video. If you thought this video helped you in terms of how to keep your own trade rules, please press a good button. And if there's any other topics you would like me to talk about for trading or anything that's related, I created a request form. The link is on the description below. So feel free to send me any requests. I'll be looking forward to them. So, all right, I will see you on the next video. Matane, bye.